This surgical technique video will demonstrate hamstring graft preparation techniques for ACL reconstruction. We will first demonstrate the double strand technique with one tendon. The tendon is loaded into a suspensory device. The two free ends of the graft are stitched together with non-absorbable suture to create equal lengths of each half. The graft is then whip stitched with fibre loop at the end to reinforce it. Next, we will demonstrate the four strand technique with one tendon. Once the two free ends of the graft are stitched together, a suture is passed in the middle and the tendons are folded. The needle is passed through the proximal part of the graft stump, grabbing and tensioning the distal part with a non-absorbable suture. The four strand graft is then whip stitched with fibre loop from proximal to distal. Next, we will demonstrate the three strand technique with one tendon. The tendon is folded into three equal parts and the junction at each fold is marked. The tendon is loaded into a suspensory device at one of the marks. A stitch at each end of the tendon is made with a non-absorbable suture leaving a tail. The needle is then passed through the other two strands of the graft. The same procedure is then repeated at the other end. Next, we will demonstrate the five strand technique with two tendons. A three strand graft is prepared with one tendon as demonstrated previously. The other tendon is loaded in the same suspensory device alongside it. A needle is passed at the end of the three strand graft through all five strands. The five strand graft is then whip stitched with fibre loop from proximal to distal. Finally, we will demonstrate the four strand technique with two tendons. Both tendons are loaded in a suspensory device with a reverse orientation. A non absorbable suture is passed twice around the four free ends of the graft. The graft is whip stitched with a continuous non absorbable suture from distal to proximal and then from proximal to distal to reinforce the distal site of the graft.